Hey guys, my name is Shay and today I'm going to show you how to set up Task Force Radio module inside your mission file and how to set up Task Force Radio channel inside the TeamSpeak server. So let me tell you what's exactly going to happen. This is mainly focused toward mission makers. So when a person jump in the server, he will automatically get moved to correct channel inside your TeamSpeak server. So let's get started with the TeamSpeak. First thing, you need to buy yourself a TeamSpeak server or you can host yourself a TeamSpeak server using your uh, PC. But on this case, I got a TeamSpeak server. I bought a TeamSpeak server. So in here, I got a couple of channels. I got Lobby, AFK and Nama 3. And in, in here, you can create yourself a channel, but I would like to create a sub channel under Nama 3. I'm going to do that now. So in here, give it name. I'm going to call it Radio Comms, and give it a password as well. When you're setting up Task Force Radio module, you do need this. So keep this in your mind, and click permanent and channel click created. OK. And as you can see, it created a channel. It is locked. So let me start a my arm three. Okay, now let's say uh, you already created yourself a base and you put down all the players and the only thing you're missing is the task force radio module. So let's do that now. Uh, from here, you can press F5 or you can go to systems and here go to TFAR and drag and drop TFAR enforce usage and double click on that. And in here you should see a bunch of options. So let's start with the first one. Give team leaders a long range radio. Personally, I keep this disabled, but it's up to you. You can keep it enabled. What this is going to do is that um, when a team leader joins the server, he will automatically get a long range radio, but I would like to keep it disabled. Next one is uh, give rifle, rifleman a radio and keep that enabled and it will give a every single person a small radio. I'm not going to mess with this one. I'm going to keep that default. And on the channel name, you should remember we created a channel in Armor 3 on your team speak server I called mine radio com so I'm gonna write that one down and I gave it a password as well and other two it's up to you actually basically uh, same side frequency I keep this enabled and same with this one I'll keep this enabled if you like you can disable this and these as well but it's all up to you but keep in mind channel name and channel password need to be same as team speak server Okay, now we are ready and we can click OK. I'm going to save this and we are going to test this. Okay, I got my team speak so on the right side and the game in the left side. We can test this. Number one, I'm going to click play, choose suspend now, click OK. Keep your eyes on the team speak server, so I'm going to click continue. Channel switched. And as you can see, I automatically got moved to the Radiocoms channel. So that's how you set up Armor 3 Task Force Radio module and the radio channel for the Team Speak server. I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed the video. And yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in next video.